Okay, so I'm going to give you a uh, quick overview of Planning Analytics for Excel, which is the second of the two interfaces, along with the Planning Analytics workspace that you use to access Planning Analytics. When you install Planning Analytics for Excel, it appears as an icon on your ribbon. When you select it, you need to obviously log on to a database, which I'm going to do now. And it uh, authenticates in the same way using the same password. Once you've connected to a database, you can use the task pane at the side to explore the database and see what um, see what you've got access to. So you can see the cubes that you've got to work with. You can see the views that are related to each cube. And you can see the dimensions that make up that um, cube as well. You've also got some functionality to drill into the dimensions um, and get information. So if I wanted to look at the entity dimension, I can look at the subsets that are available. I can look at the members um, and these can then be easily dragged and put on your worksheet if you need them. In terms of viewing the data, we have several ways of doing this. The simplest is to open a cube viewer. So this opens a cube viewer as a completely separate window, which is useful if you're working on a spreadsheet but want to um, review some of the data in TM1. This cube viewer, very similar to, similar to the format you'll see in um, Planning Analytics Workspace. You have the same functionality that you can drag and drop and stack dimensions and access the subset editors for each um, item. So exactly as you'd expect from here, you can also um, save the views and you can also convert them back to other reports in Excel, which I'm going to show you in a second. If I have to look at something else, so in the income statement, another way of looking at the data is by um, through what's called an exploration view. Exploration view, you have the data sitting in Excel. You have the same drag and drop functionality as we've just discussed. So again, I can move companies across the top. I've got double click to open and close items. I've got double click to open and close elements here. And you can see that I haven't got the alias switched on for that account. So I get access to turn the aliases on here. Um, and so again, full slice and dice, but you are in Excel. So you can quickly, you know, add a formula if you need to do or, or sum up some values, to see what they're, they come through. It's also from here, it's very use, it's very easy to be able to turn it into what's called a custom report. So what I usually do is I usually start with an expiration report to get something close to what I'm looking for. Um, like this, and then maybe I want two versions at the top. I just want actual budget, keep them. So once you've got something close to what you want, what you can do is you can convert the report to one of the other types. So I'm going to turn convert this to a custom report. So when I convert something to a custom report, all the um, interactive features uh, that were separate to the Excel sheet are removed, and that leaves you with just standard Excel formula and text. So here, this is really powerful because you can quickly make changes because you still have the access to the TM1 functionality, but you've got all the benefits of using um, Excel formula and formatting to make something look exactly as you'd like it to look. So I put some boxes around there, I can make the text red. So uh, in this report, you've got your own formatting, but you can um, quickly 
still have access to the, the features from the planning analytics. So you've got the control here as well. So if I choose to turn this data into local currency, for instance. Once you've created a report and you're happy with the way it looks, you can publish it to the TM1 server. So rather than saving it on your own file drive, you can publish it and make it available for everyone who has access to the server to use. So if I go and publish this in my reporting folder, book, let's call it book two, publish, make available. Once it's published, then anyone, if I go back to the planning analytics workspace, refresh the server view, uh, you can see that in the reporting folder, I now have the book we've just added, and it's now available in the workspace, still with all the functionality that you would expect with the data updating. Once you get quite good at building these reports with the Excel format, Excel formatting and other Excel features as combined with the TM1 format, you can actually create some quite useful reports. Um, that, and here's an example, for instance, of a management accounts pack that's been put together. It's got an income statement. Um, summary in local currency and group currency. It's got a breakdown of expenses. This is all against budget and prior year. And it's got a balance sheet. It's got a cash flow. And these are all standard TM1 formulas. So the, all this data is coming live from the TM1 database. So it's always up to date. And the way this has been built has been by using uh, a control sheet here. You can choose your the entity you're looking at, so if I go and look at USA, you can choose the month you're looking at, August, and then you can, I've also put options here to select which budget and forecast scenario we're reporting against. You can see here a lot of data is also coming from the TM1 database. Again, you use TM1, you've got a single source of your data, so the legal name of USA company is saved there, the default currency is saved there. The dates you pull forward from August 21, it's useful to pull forward, you know, what your prior months are, what your last year was, what the next month is, because they can all then be used in building your reports. So now we've updated this to be USA for August. Their results haven't been submitted yet, but there's the USA data, but you've got the year to date and you've got the variances. I don't think. So, a very powerful tool and something which would help a lot of uh, Excel users, particularly finance departments, um, get all the benefits of Excel with all the benefits of TM1 as well.